check it out. I'm gonna click this. It's gonna load. And the game's gonna continue. Isn't that just amazing? And I can't wait. Because today, I will not only go back to the stranger, of course, but I will actually start off quickly taking a round trip around the solar system and talking with all the people. Because now that I've come so far, and now that I've actually found this stranger, I just want to check if any of them have something new to say. Maybe it's a waste of time. I bet it's not. So, uh, first, let me just check here. Right. I discovered a bunch of things. So it's been a couple days since I played last. So maybe I just need to re read some of these. Um, yeah, but let me read these after I've talked to the people in the solar system. So let's do a round trip here. First off, who's closest? I guess Chert is. Let's go say hi to Chert. I definitely want to say hi to Gabro as well because... I mean, he and I are the only ones uh, stuck in this time loop, right? So, he would be the ideal guy to talk to about these things. Seeing as we're both experiencing this and nobody else can relate. Man, it's so weird going back to uh, to these planets again. I mean, I know I've only been in the Stranger for a couple episodes. Four, three episodes? Something like that, but... Ah, it's just nice. It's just nice. And I haven't even finished the game yet. I'm so curious to see how it all ends. Um, that was the quantum moon locator. I'm also just wondering in general how much I've missed in this solar system. I should also just go take a trip around. Wait, is this? No, that's not where he is. I just want to take a trip around the entire solar system and explore every nook and cranny to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um... So, but I don't know how interesting that's going to be to watch. <coughs> Sorry. Chert, where are you at? Hello? Is there a chert in the house? Where are you hiding? Chert, chert, chert. Chert! My buddy! Goodness, it's you. Hello. Yeah, the first launch went well, man. Um, what are you up to? Yeah, you're updating start charts. I get it. So is there anything new I can tell you? Um, I found something. Wait, what? Did I, found, did I find this? I found modern Nomai transmissions saying the universe is dying? Where did I find that? Let me think. Modern no modern. Modern no my transmissions. I mean it's been a while, I guess, but let me see. You what? I don't um what? You mean to say there are modern no my out in other parts of space and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing is dying currently right now? Oh, I remember now. I think I read that on the vessel, right? We had intercommunications between this clan and other Nomai clans. And they were also saying that stars were exploding. If if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernova were there, but I but I've been studying the stars for well, what does it matter if oh I'm very sorry, but but I have to look over my charts. I uh, hope you don't mind. Oh no. But but surely I would have seen some kind of other sign than the supernova, so perhaps? What? Oh, I just can't talk to him anymore after that. Interesting. I'm sorry, Chert. I'm sorry. You're all gonna die in 20 minutes or so. Anyway. Um, I guess Giant's Deep. Let's check that out. That's to the right. Also, if you suddenly hear me scream out in pain or make uh, noises, it's because I'm actually in pain. Um, I really hurt my shoulder the other day and I just cannot, for the life of me, get the pain away. I'm taking painkillers and shit, can't even sit straight. So I'm like sitting all crooked right now. Yeah. <laughs> even when I'm laughing, it actually hurts. It's terrible. Uh, Gabro, where you be? Where you be? 
feel like the autopilot is quite slow. Look at the shadow. The shadow of our ship. Whoa! Such a cool effect when you penetrate these clouds. Oh, I guess he's right here. Amazing. Smooth as a shaved leg. Okay. Gabro. My dude. What's new? How's it hanging? You know, I kind of wish I'd built a hammock here before we ended up in this time loop. <laughs> That's fucking great. I, I don't think I've read this before. Is this new? What's up? <laughs> he has to set it up every time loop. You lazy ass. Uh, I found something. I found your quantum poem. I have no memory of this. Oh yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to, to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture that just like shows up while you while your back is turned and scares the daylights out of you. Please, Gabro, don't do that. That's horrible. I do not approve. So I think he's actually referring to the... I think I found some writing. Some No, actually, I don't remember. Do I? Maybe I did. It's been a while. Um, what else can I say? I found the source of the time loop. Like Ash Twin? Wait, whoa, really? They know my carved out Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside? That is wild. Now we know what's causing the loop then. And if it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. Hey, what do you think would happen if you turned off the time loop? Like, there's a part of me thinks maybe you shouldn't. What, with the sun blowing up and all? And again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, I'm no time loop expert. I'm just gonna sit here and ponder the intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap too if I feel like it. I kinda get the feeling now that maybe it's not too bad to turn it off. Gabro seems pretty... What do you call that? Uh, he seems pretty... Well, nonchalant about it. Uh, I found something. I did- I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. I think I said this, but... Yeah, you mentioned that before. Did I look busy in it? I hope I looked busy. Must have been from the time Hornfell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. They thought old spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how it got sh How it got a shot of my beautiful behelmeted face, come to think of it. I always thought it was kind of sweet that the best way to find old spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite, always making sure we know where we're going. <laughs> I have a map. I just want to say that. Yeah, um, the one that's standard with all our spacesuits, the one you have with you at all times that opens with the press of a button. That map. You didn't get conged on the head by a rock or meteorite or something on your way here, did you? No shame in that. Happens to me all the time. In case you were hit especially hard, don't forget that you can jump into your ship and use your solar system map to lock on to any astral body. It's the easiest way to visit old Spacey too. And also the stranger. I kind of wish I could tell him that I found the stranger. Can I really not tell him about that? So, I found no my masks inside the Ash Twin project. You're saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time. I guess that makes sense, considering we both have our memories of every loop we've gone through. Wait then, it's just our memories being sent back in time to us, right? Then, are we really experiencing multiple time loops or not? That's a... well... Uh... Well, Gabro, um... Hmm... That's a good question. That's pretty deep. Like, maybe our consciousness... Consh... Consciousnesses... That's fucking hard word to say. Maybe our consciousnesses have been through all these loops, but maybe our bodies haven't. Because technically, the loops never happened. Meaning we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool, huh? 
G Gabbro, you're kind of uh, scaring me here. I don't, uh, I don't know about that. I found something. Actually, never mind. I'm good. Let's get the hell out of here because I think I hear a, a, a cyclone. Uh, get to the chopper. Oh my god, the timing is impeccable. Thanks for the lift. Where are we going? Let's go to... You know what? Fucking hell. Let's go to the Adel Rock. I haven't said hi to that guy on the... I forget his name. Whoa, what the hell? That was a very quick takeoff. There's the probe cannon. Okay, I'm so excited, you can probably tell. Uh, I'm just happy to be playing this game again. <laughs> Visiting all the old places. I'm going to the Adel Rock now to say hi to uh, that dude on there. One of the first people I talked to in this game after leaving uh, Timber Hearth. So, I'm curious to see if he has anything new to say. I guess maybe not, but, you know, we'll see. Man, I gotta go visit Felspar and brag about having found the stranger. If there's anyone to brag about, too, it's gotta be Felspar, right? He seems pretty full of himself at times. The Adel Rock. What does Adel mean? Does it have a meaning at all? Oh my god, I just realized. Oh shit! Ah, that's way too fast! Oh god damn. Are we good? That was not very smooth. That was not, uh, not proud of that one. Landing camera, repair it. I'm gonna need you later. Are we good? I think we're good. What is this guy's name here anyway? Esker. That's right. He's down here, it seems. There. I was about to say, I never noticed the headlights in the landing mode. Uh, okay. Let me not... Uh, Blows dust in his face. So let me land over here. Yoink. Get out of here. Esker. My dude. Still whistling, huh? Oh, hey, it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Marl says hi. What is this place? Seems lonely up here. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro, and you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary spaceflight. Okay, I, I don't think there's anything you are going to say that's new. I just want to check with Rybeck now, so that's a quick visit to Brittle Hollow, and then off we go to Rama. I'm gonna rendezvous with Rama. Uh, where is Brittle Hollow? There it is. Amazing. You know... Thinking about it... I can't resist. I gotta try land on this fucking thing. Manually. Sun Station. I think... Maybe I have the skills now. I tried once or twice... Before. But I believe in myself. I can do this. Just need to catch up to it and slow down, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, it's difficult. It's difficult. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna wait for it to come around. And then I'm gonna catch up to it as soon as it's there. I'm gonna time it. So where's the plane of the solar system? There, so I should be aiming this way. Uh oh, I'm actually falling into the sun. This is bad. There it is. So I should already be accelerating a little bit. To catch up with it. Shit, 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 shit. Accelerate. Oh fuck, it's fast. It is real fast. No! <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. Okay, I I have to succeed in this at least once in this playthrough. 
It needs to happen. Feels like one of those uh, rite of passages or something. <laughs> At least it's one I made up for myself just now. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna quickly try it once more. And if it fails, this episode is just bullshitting around a bit and reminiscing about all the good times on these planets I've had. But also just visiting the people in the solar system. Uh, right, I just fly towards the sun, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. Where you be, sun? Over here. And where's the sun station? There it is! Oh my god, perfect timing. Let's go. Uh-oh. Why is my ship automatically rotating? I don't like that. I should use both thrusters, actually. Give me more thrust. Okay, okay. Holy shit, I'm sipping by! Am I actually catching up to it? I don't think I am. Fuck! Man, it's fast. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, am I am I moving out of the plane of the solar system? I think I am. I should stay in the plane. Let me align these planets. Let me align these bad boys. Uh, there. We should be in the plane now. So now I go forwards. Is it coming? Oh, not yet. There it is. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Believe in me. Believe in me. This is the last attempt, I promise. Maybe I'll practice off stream <laughs> just to do this actually look at the look at the yin yang symbol look at the yin yang symbol it's, actually i'm kind of i'm kind of in orbit with it right now come on come on i need to aim towards the sun actually stay in orbit here yeah come on more Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gaining on it. We're gaining. Yes. Aim towards the sun. Fuck yeah. Come on, Tars. Come on, Tars. Landing camera. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Back, 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 back. Keep going. Okay, this is way better than like this. Fuck, we're here. Oh. Oh. Can I just leave the ship here? Go! Go, ja! Ah! Ah! K Fuck! I'm being pushed towards the edge! Oh, the forces! The forces are pushing me! <laughs> I can't move! I can't move! Fuck! <laughs> Okay, you know what? Put that down as a success. I feel like I made it. I reached orbit, okay? I, I was I rendezvoused with the sun station. If you agree with me, put a uh, hell yeah in the chat, okay? In the chat, what am I saying? In the comments of the YouTube video. Okay, that's been enough bullshitting around. Let's do a quick visit to Ryback, and then we go back to the stranger. It's been 18 minutes so far in this episode, so not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Brittle Hollow, where you be? I just wanna get close and see. Hmm. Okay. Now where was... He was at the equator, if I remember correctly. So what is the easiest entrance to him? Maybe I just fly my ship through uh, through the center of Brittle Hollow and find him there. Look, there's the quantum moon. Aboard that autopilot. I'm taking over here. So are we on the equator now? That's the out point of the teleporter from Whitehall Station. What is that place? Oh, is that the little uh, 
Ah, oh, what is it called? The one where they made the crystals? Fuck. Where's Ryback? Okay, we're at the pole. This is bad. Go towards the... Go towards the equator. That's more like it. Now we go around. Oh, wrong way. Fuck it. Let's just go down here. Let's go down here. See the stairs? I'm so confident with my spacefaring skills right now. Oh, oh. You didn't hear that. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Oh, man. That was amazing. Okay. He was somewhere close to the center, I believe. Actually, I do remember if I hit the gravity pull. And I'm gonna be alright. Where is it? There's like a gravity suction somewhere. There. I see it. I see it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh my god. I'm so fucking professional. I'm such a chad. Ryback, did you see that? I launched, yeah? You've been out here a while. Uh, No, no. I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, you're afraid of space. Let me ask you a question. Uh, I learned something. Whoa! Okay, I can say new things here. Shit, I'm so glad I went back. Uh, I found the vessel. You did? That... That's incredible! Congratulations! That means they really were from far outside our solar system. Haha! <laughs> yes! I knew it! But that creates so many new questions. If they didn't come from our solar system, where did they come from? Are they from our galaxy or somewhere even farther? What were their lives like before they came here and why did they come here? Hey, I, uh, I might not be much of an astronaut, but I'm really glad I came out here to see the Nomai's artifacts for myself. And um, thanks for telling me. About the vessel, I mean. Dude. We're just getting started. Check this out. I saw... I went to the comet. And... Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how the Nomai died. That's really sad, isn't it? It is, man. I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above. It's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. But, I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomai disappeared, I'd never have left Timber Hearth and come out here. Or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying. But, you know, it has its moments. I just fucking realized something. If the comet came into the solar system, and this ghost matter shell inside of it burst, and spread ghost matter in the entire solar system, killed all the Nomai. Maybe also killed the uh, the bird people on the stranger. Because I saw ghost matter in there. Why the hell are the Harthians still alive? Like, they were not even close to being as advanced as the Nomai. The Nomai were like gods compared to the Harthians when the Nomai were here. So how the hell did we survive? That's a that's a good fucking question, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I learned something. I talked to a living Nomai, bro. Ah! That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I'm very excited for you, though. Uh, p please stop yelling. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it. Uh. What? On the quantum moon, you said? There's a sort of living Nomai on the quantum moon? Well, why didn't you say so? Ha 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 ha. Oh, wow. Wow. This is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds Ventures. I can't believe you talked to an actual Nomai. Great. So I just have to go back into space, fly to the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Okay, yeah, that's that's uh, that's not so bad. It's probably doable. <laughs> God. I hope I didn't uh, destroy your ears just now, but I, I was really into the moment, you know, voice acting this. And that's just so funny, the way they wrote it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what else did I found? 
Find. I think I think I I said everything I wanted to say. Okay, if you do learn something new about the Nomai though, I'd love to hear it. If you don't mind, I mean. Yeah. Uh, see you later, man. Good talk. I'm so glad I went back here. I'm so glad I went back to Brittle Hollow. Now, how do I get up again? If you want to go up, the best way is to go down. That's what I've learned on this planet, at least. Oh, White Hole Station, we meet again. Man. Is Dark Brambles crazy close to me right now, or am I crazy? Yeah, I guess it is. Wow. I didn't realize it came this close. Huh. That's kind of uh, interesting. I thought it was the stranger for a second. But that wouldn't make any sense because we're in the plane of the soul... In the, sorry, in the solar system, and it's not in the plane, as far as I know. Okay, okay, okay. Let's warp. Maybe this is the final warp I'll ever do from the White Hole Station. Who knows? <laughs> Get in. There we go. All right. Man. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I have seen that. I have seen that. Thought for a moment that I missed something crucial. Uh oh. No, the other side. Damn it. Teleport me. Did I miss it? Fuck. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Uh, let me reverse it. I'm super excited today for some reason. I'm just glad to be playing this game. I really am. And I'm gonna go back to the stranger now. I'm gonna go back to the stranger. Oh, the music! Love it. Man, look at me. Fucking... F entering an orbit without a ship. Let's test my theory here. Ah, never mind. I was thinking about a theory I had like... 30 episodes ago. About how much fall damage you're going to take based on X and Y velocities. Um, it's time to visit the stranger. Ooh, it's here! Right, let's read about it. That's what I wanted to do. Cinder Isles. Submerged structure. A large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be entered by swimming from below. There is a sealed vault illuminated by a green fire inside the structure. A sealed vault. A vault. I'm just gonna call it the vault. Sealed vault. I found a strange vault, wrapped in chains and marked with three glowing symbols. A slide reel from the river lowland showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. And we have the cliffside building. I saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into one of the canyon walls, but the bridge that used to lead to it has rotted away. Right. So my current theory on that is that... So I, I, I tried the whole riding the wave thing, see if the rave, wave was high enough to jump on some debris that came floating by to get across, but it didn't work. So my current theory is that there are these tunnels uh, a little further down river, and I think if I can close those tunnels off, it will prevent the water from rushing through, which will increase the water level around the bridge, which may, maybe I can swim across. So maybe I have to find a mechanism for closing those um, those tunnels. That's my current theory. Then we have the reservoir. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a projection showing the stranger's current trajectory and the sun's predicted supernova radius. So that's what it was then. I found a projection showing the stranger's current trajectory and the sun's predicted supernova radius. Yeah. It's just moving out, out outside of the sphere, in, sphere of influence, or the radius of this supernova. Burn slide reel. A slide reel that shows a strange vault being encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Yeah. Nearly all the slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. 
I do remember that. Is this the one where they were in the docks? Yeah. They were building this, submerging it underwater, presumably sealing something away that's not good. A tower that sits atop one of the cinder aisles. The upper floors can only be reached from a second entrance at the back of the tower. Right, through the cave. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants. Damn it, they still won't give them a name. <laughs> I'm still gonna call them bird people. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants opening a secret passage in a round room filled with lanterns and murals. The inhabitants are shown filing into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. Really? I could have sworn there were four. Look, four. Four entering. Four entering. Four entering. Oh, wait. Maybe they meant like, uh, because there's three sets of four. That's probably what this means. Yeah, so he's pointing. Okay, so this was the big thing. Last episode. I have to go to the... I actually took a picture of this on my phone. Let me see if I still have it. Uh, I don't know why I shouldn't, but... Right, the picture on my phone shows... Him pointing at Saturn in the sky. The one with the guy standing on the creek with three... With three um, candles. So I have to remove the lantern there and enter. Maybe there's a secret door that opens. Okay. Um, how much time has elapsed in this loop? Am I uh, a little too late for the stranger anyway? Because I think I are. So I may actually just quickly go back to Timber Hearth. I just want to see if uh, a couple of the key characters there, such as... I forget his name, but... The guy on top of the telescope. The, um, the guy who discovered the expansion of the universe and everything. I want to talk to him. See if uh, I can tell him anything about the stranger. I, sh I have to be able to. Right? I gotta be able to tell some of these people about what I've seen. Cloaking in space in our solar system. It's a crazy discovery. And people need to know. Is that it? Is that the village? No. I think that's the... Wait, let me... Go this way. I think that's the seed from Dark Bramble that crashed there. Here it is. No? Nope. That is the... What is that? Hmm. I think maybe that's the, that's the quantum shard there? Is it on the pole? It is. Here it is. That is the observatory. Let me actually land on the landing pad. I've never done this. I don't know why that's... How come I never done that? I always took off from here, but I never landed. And what a landing it was, if I do say so myself. Now, can I just quickly file up into here? Yoink! Look at this! Wait a minute. Doesn't that look like the lantern from... From the stranger? Am I crazy? Has this always been here? Right, he was downstairs. Damn it. I feel like that hasn't always been there. Unless I'm crazy. Hornfels. That's it. Hey, look at this. The statue opened his eyes. Yeah. Can I tell him about the stranger? I found Felspar. Did I say that? I don't remember. I don't think I did. You found Feldspar, and they're in Dark Bramble? Stars above, this is wonderful news, thank you. Thank you for finding them. That Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. <laughs> we were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Still, we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossen and have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear they're alive and unharmed. 
Oh, cool. I'm really glad I went back here, actually. I don't think I said that to him. Hal? Hey, I was just about to come find you. Yeah, the statue opened his eyes. Good for you. Should someone tell Gabriel, maybe Rybeck, or Stars is so exciting, it's making my stomach hurt. Hell. <gasps> Hell! Can you help me translate this new alien language I found? A new language? Yes! Absolutely! Stars above, you bet I can! Just give me, let's call it a hundred samples. Some form of epigraphical codex. And six months, uh, and I should have the vague gist of the sort of graphemes this new language is working with. Gosh, I can't wait to get started. No! I thought I would actually be able to... Fuck! That is the first interaction I've had. Acknowledging that I've found something on the stranger. Now, Hornfels quickly mentioned Gossen. I forget who it was. Was he the guy in the cave? I just want to see if I can say anything to him. Maybe I should tell Gossen to go rescue Felspar. Gossen, you're back awfully soon. Everything all right? Slate didn't do anything dumb like install a self-destruct button, did they? No, he, no, no, they didn't. No, no, not quite. But he did forget to include a uh, a proper autopilot. Let me tell you. I've had ex oh, there's also this guy. Excuse me, Moraine. Hello, astronaut. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo. I think I heard this before. Hear different planets, signal scopes are cool. Yeah, you're cool, man. You're so cool. I'm so excited. I'm so excited this episode, man. I'm playing Outer Wilds. Let me... For the love of all that's holy... Go to the stranger. Market. I, oh, you know what? I really hope there's a way in the future to um, to disable the cloaking on the stranger. Maybe there's like a button inside I can press that'll allow me to disable the cloaking field. And maybe I'll have new dialogue options with everyone. Wouldn't that be cool? Something tells me I'll be able to, actually. I'm still curious how the stranger is going to tie into the rest of the story. The story that I don't even know how ends. My current theory on that is that I can either choose to end the loop, which is a sad thing because everyone's gonna die, but at least they'll be dead and free, you know? And not just reliving a loop constantly. Or I could let the loop continue, not do anything. Do the same as Gabriel does. Fucking put up a hammock and sit there all day and chill. That is my current theory on how the game is going to end. But then again, I can also type in the... So, I have to go back to the vessel at some point and type in the coordinates to the universe. If that is even what I'm supposed to do there. I'm like 100% sure, honestly. Like, I took a look at the recording and there were exactly six... It was like a hexa hexagonal shape. And the, uh, the picture I have of the coordinates are completely in line with that. Or I can draw those symbols. Hello? Is my light not good enough for you? Uh... Wait, is it... Oh, wait, it's probably because it's flooded. We're, we're, we're here super late. Oh shit, I have an idea, I have an idea. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Worst case, I can load last save. Here's the thing. I'm going into the Ash Twin project. Fuck it, I'm going. I wanna I wanna see if I can disable the Ash Twin project and I wanna, I wanna come back to this place. Ow, 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 fuck, I thought that was uh, space. It wasn't. Everything's damaged. Shit, 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 shit. There. Go, go, go. Interesting. Quick. Uh, I need to go to... It's Ash Twin. Also, everything's damaged. Artificial gravity damaged. Everything is damaged, man. 
I'm kind of uh, scared that my ship is gonna explode. I should really activate autopilot here. Wait, is autopilot working? I think it is. Oh wait, we're way too quick. So, which one was the core? It was... The tower with the two... With the two towers. And one of them sent me to Ember Twin, I think. The other one sends me to the core. I think the one that sends me to the core is the one where I have to enter it when the column of sand is directly overhead. That's what I did. I don't think I have a lot of time here. The sun is about to go nuts. I'm sorry if you were expecting the stranger this whole episode, but... <laughs> I mean, I... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I really felt like going back and just exploring a couple things here. Oh shit, right, that is not working. Get down, get down, get down. Let me land. But it says landing gear damage. This is quite bad, isn't it? Oh my god. Get down, get down, get down. Let me just quickly repair some things. Also, is the sand coming? I should probably get on it then. It's coming now. Is everything good? Are we good? Uh, where's the tower? It's this one, isn't it? Uh, which one of them was it? It was the one with the little... The one that was destroyed. This is it. Get in here. Fuck, I'm so excited. I have no time. This feels like an action movie right now. Go! Fuck yeah! N nailed it. Uh, and then I go... I'm, please don't end the game. Please don't let the game end. I'm gonna turn off this thing now. Uh, so I have to move this ball up there. That's what it is. Let me just double check. Wait, how did I... There. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. We got more? Okay, let's do it. Oh shit. Uh Oh, I get it, I get it. Uh I have to use this thing. I I remember this. Turn off the gravity. That's what I did in the episode where I went in here. Here I go. Remove warp core. Shit. What do I do now? Uh, return warp. The game didn't end. Wait, I don't get it. There's a black and a white hole in this. Let's go to the stranger. Uh oh, I hear the music. The sun is about to go off. Fuck. Oh shit, quick, hurry. Oh my god, the stranger is... ...far away. What's happening? Porthole damaged. I'm coming! I'm coming! Wait, is the music different? I think the music is different. Yeah, listen! No, 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 I'm going to the stranger. What do you mean? Abort autopilot. Okay, autopilot. Is the music different because I removed the core? Oh my god, this is the end of the game! It is the end! I triggered an ending, fuck! Oh my god...
Come on. Undershot target. What do you mean? Go, 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 go. Take me with you. Wow. Dude, we're far away. <laughs> so. Pause. I know there's fucking hype music going on right now. I'm so hyped. But listen, I just want to say something. I think we're not going to be sent back now. I guess it doesn't matter if I go to the stranger then. We're not going to be sent back. We're just going to fucking die. And that's the end of the game. But my thinking was, if I can go to the stranger, it's going to protect me against the supernova, right? Because they move outside the blast radius. I don't even know if I want to bring this. I'm kind of scared to hold this. So the thing is flooded. Let me get up here. Oh no. Am I in the wrong place? Fuck. Oh man, this music. What the fuck is happening? Where's the other entrance? Fuck, is it, was it on the other side? I can't see anything. What's happening? The music stopped. Dude, I'm so curious right now what's happening. Oh my God, it's so dark. There. Is that the same entrance I was just in? The music stopped. Bam. Can I get in here now? Or was this too low as well? Uh, let me try the elevator. There. It's here. coming <laughs> this fucking episode started off I'm just gonna walk around a bit say hi to some people instead I think I triggered an ending out of nowhere this really escalated <laughs> I don't th I don't know what's gonna happen now I'm so confused oh no 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 go up go up what are you doing what are you doing come on get up there you bastard Okay. What's happening? Oh, that's my flashlight. I'm so stupid. I thought it was the sun. How come I can't see the sun? Uh, let me go to the observation deck. Where was that? Down here, right? It's so dark, I can't see anything. Oh. That's it? Now beyond the reach of the supernova, you find yourself the only inhabitant of an abandoned world. Surely something here must be edible? I fucking knew I was gonna end the game. Fuck. Why did I do this? Hmm. Load previous save. What happens? Wake up. We have the launch code, so wait, are we just, uh, is this like, um, is this similar to that other time where I broke space time? 
Did it save everything I did, though? I wasn't being sent back in time. The ship log is the same, meaning that... I did read these, apparently. So it was saved. Okay. That's crazy. So... Is that an ending, then? Is that an actual ending to the game? Fuck. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that if I stopped the Ash Twin project, that I could continue exploring uh, the stranger without having been sent back in time all the time. I mean, obviously, you do want to be sent back in time at sometimes because uh, the fucking flood, you don't want the flood to have happened forever, right? You want to also explore parts before the flood happens. But maybe it was possible to just explore there forever, but it seems you can't really do that. Or I guess you can, but you're not going to play that part. It's just going to tell you, hey, you managed to evade the supernova, and he fucking got away. Leaving everyone else behind in the solar system. I'm just like, peace, I'm off. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so cool, actually. What a cool ending. I would have been okay with that ending, if this was an ending. Um, I guess I'm just going back to the stranger then. See, now I want to try and re remove that core from the Ash Twin project. And just die. What happens then? I guess I just die and it says you died. And that's the end of the game. Right? I'm not- I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that core. I don't quite get it. Hmm. Am I being really stupid right now? What am I supposed to do with the core? Obviously I'm supposed to remove it because the music started, right? Or maybe I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe all those questions will be answered once I put in the coordinates of the universe into, this, uh, into the vessel. I mean, I haven't even tried that yet. Maybe I'll actually do that soon. Just to see what happens. But uh, what I, so my original plan in this game uh, was that I wanted to complete the DLC before I ended the game. I just wanted to complete as much as I could of the game before it's ended, you know? I don't want to end the game and then start a new game and play the DLC. That sounds weird to me. Um, so I just wanted to do everything before the game ended. But I guess so far the game has ended twice, technically. So does it really matter? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. That's gotta be it for this episode. What a weird ass episode, man. Started out on the bottom and now we're here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I promise in the next episode I'll just explore the stranger. Good old stranger. I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.